One of my favorite features in Canva is the ability to change the colors of an image with the click of a button. Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. Let's get started. The Duotone app is one that's created by Canva. You can choose a lot of different colors with highlights and shadows. Duotone allows you to customize the color with a control panel. Right now, we're on the Canva apps website. I'll leave the link for this website in the description below. But for now, we're going to click on Duotone. Canva made an update since I recorded that segment. I want to show it to you real quick before I show you how to use a Duotone feature. Up here on the homepage, Discover Apps. It's new. So when I click it, it goes to the apps page, but it looks a little different than you saw in the opening sequence. Where you can find Duotone now is right here under popular. However, if it's ever not popular, it would be up here under photo editing, Duotone. So there's your update for you. Now back to the lesson. You can scroll through it to see what Duotone looks like. We're going to select an Instagram post today because you could also use the size on your YouTube community tab. This opens up a blank document with a stock photograph for you to try different possibilities. Canva leaves you clues on how to use this feature. The image is selected, edit image is there highlighted, and the duo tone feature with all 22 options are there for you. If you want your image to have a blush tone look, then select blush. If you would like a light green effect with your image, choose the mint chocolate. There are even options to change your image to have a sepia tone, a monotone, or even a classic tone. These options are great, but I want to show you my favorite way to customize with Duotone. I love to turn pictures into silhouettes with this effect and by applying two image effects together, I can create a text overlay like this one. Be sure to watch all the way through to learn both techniques. You select your image and if your image doesn't have a background like this one, you can turn it into a silhouette. We're going to click edit image, type in duo tone. It really doesn't matter what color you choose because when I click cherry, a control panel comes up, click that, and now we can change the highlight and shadow. So I'm going to click highlight and choose black and then choose shadow and choose black as well. You can do any solid color that you want. As long as you make them both the same color, it will give you a silhouette. You can even change the intensity so that it gives the person a slight hue. Make sure to click apply and wait for the process to complete or it will convert back to the original colors. Let's look at how to use the same technique to create a fun text overlay that stands out on your image or video. T on your keyboard will give you text. Type out what you want. I made it the size that I wanted and then I went to effects, background, change the roundness all the way to nothing. And then I changed the spread just a little bit. I changed the color to black and then the text to white. Originally, I added an extra rectangle under this text effect and made an image like this, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this image, and it didn't matter what image I took, I just need it to be the right size, and then go to Edit Image. I've got my Duotone right here, and then I'm gonna change it to my branding color and click apply and saving pause so it's thinking. So now it looks exactly like that top one, but when I click it, it says edit image. And at this point, I can type in shadow and add a shadow. So I'm gonna click see all and it 
For this one, I did a page lift. I just left it at the control panels that it was because I thought it looked nice. Clicked apply. Another way to enhance an image, especially for YouTube thumbnails, is by creating an outline around it. Don't miss this lesson on how to do that. It's on the screen right now to click. You can also find more recommended Canva lessons in the description. If you like this Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, then make sure that you are subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye.